What used to be the wrong place at the wrong time is quickly becoming any place at any time. No occupational field is immune to workplace violence. Hi, I'm Clint Emerson, retired Navy SEAL and now crisis management professional. We believe everyone has a right to work in a safe environment and be treated with respect. Your leaders have created a program called Workplace Violence and Weapons Policy, but it will only work if all of us do our part. To begin, let's define workplace violence. In simplest terms, workplace violence is any act of physical violence, harassment, intimidation, or other threatening disruptive behavior that occurs at the workplace site. Workplace violence ranges from verbal abuse to physical assaults and even homicide. Our policy outlines four types of workplace violence. Violence by strangers, violence by members, violence by contractors, and violence by personal relationships. This category includes cases of domestic violence and other violent threats or actions by someone who has a personal or family connection to the victim. Let's take a moment and run through some specifics. Examples of workplace violence include threats of any kind, including verbal threats and threats expressed through social media, abusive or offensive language. No, seriously, I'm not doing this anymore. No, I'm not just Easy. Obscene phone calls or other harassing behavior. Carolyn, thanks for throwing me under the bus at the meeting today. I don't get mad, I get even. Behavior that suggests a propensity for violence, including belligerent speech, excessive arguing, sabotage, or threats of sabotage. I promise you. You got five seconds. I promise you. Four, I three, will be two, back. one. Damaging or defacing property or premises. It's not funny at all. Unwanted sexual contact or touching. All forms of intimate partner violence or threats. I know where you work. Is that a threat? Physical violence of any kind. Bringing firearms or weapons of any kind on premises. Let's take a moment to discuss firearms and weapons in more detail. Park Place prohibits any weapons on company premises, in company vehicles, or while conducting company business unless required of your job and position. Violations to this policy will result in disciplinary actions up to and including immediate termination. If the member has a license to carry a concealed gun, it must be locked in their privately owned vehicle in the member parking lot. All violations of the weapons policy must be immediately reported to the appropriate department manager and human resources. These are the key principles. We have a zero tolerance policy towards threats of workplace violence, threatening behavior, acts of violence, or possession of weapons in the workplace. We will take proactive measures to create and maintain a violence-free workplace. Our workplace violence prevention program is standardized. All members are expected to comply. Leaders are responsible for communicating the policy and implementing rules fairly. We require prompt and accurate reporting of all threatening and violent incidents whether or not physical injury has occurred. We encourage victims of workplace violence and others who witness workplace violence to report promptly any incidents or threat without fear of reprisal or negative job consequences. You may need to notify external regulatory and or law enforcement agencies or warn or protect potential victims, their family members, or other parties as outlined in the duty to report warn policy. We'll provide the necessary resources to ensure that our goals and responsibilities are consistently met. Our program conforms to occupational safety and health administration standards. When a workplace violence incident or threat has been confirmed, action will be swift and decisive. The penalties for workplace violence can include disciplinary action up to and including job loss, as well as legal action up to and including arrest and imprisonment. To maintain a safe work environment, we need your help. I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing or not, but I feel like I was threatened today. Yeah, you know what, you're doing exactly the right thing. Please tell me what happened. Well, 
Report all threatening behavior and violent incidents promptly and accurately regardless of whether you are involved or whether or not physical injury has occurred. Include as much detail as possible. There will be no reprisal or negative job consequences for making a report. The only way to deal with workplace violence is to stop it dead in its tracks. Finally, let's take a moment to outline some simple precautions you can take to ensure your safety and the safety of those around you. Situational awareness helps to ensure safety. Always be aware of your surroundings. Don't make yourself a target, limit distractions, avoid using headphones or texting while walking to and from your destination. Think through potential scenarios and anticipate possible responses. This will ensure a prompt reaction in an actual threatening situation. First off, try to vacate the area as quickly as possible. If, if confronted, remain calm and treat the threatening individual with as much respect as possible. Your actions should attempt to de-escalate a volatile situation. Care should be taken to not provoke the individual. I understand, Charlie. Come on over, let's sit down, let's talk about it. No. All right, come on. Fine. You wanna talk about it, we'll talk about it. If things turn violent, follow the run, hide, fight strategy. Whenever possible, run away to seek immediate safety. Hide until the danger has passed. Fight only if you have no other choice. He's got a gun! Remember, you only fight as a last resort and only if other options have failed or are unavailable and if your life is in imminent danger. Your goal is to disable the assailant. Act with physical aggression and violence of action. Throw anything available at the assailant. Work as a team with others to subdue him and call 911 as soon as you can to report the incident and get help. As you've seen, workplace violence is a very real threat to your safety and the safety of your coworkers. By working together, we can create a secure work environment for everyone.